we've got four pieces here. We've got the bottom piece, the uh, right piece, the left piece, and the top piece for the wheel. And I need to sew these four together. So we've got our walking foot, uh, Thompson Mini Walker out, and uh, here we go. That's our setup here, and I'm going to stitch these guys together. All right, I took the uh, thread out of my sewing machine, and I folded this in half. So, uh, and then I ran it through so it would put holes, and they would line up perfectly from side to side. Then, uh, here we go. I've got all the four pieces sort of sewn together. Not sort of. I have all the four pieces sewn together. And then we're going to strap these around the wheel here and see if they fit. Ha! Huh. I think we can make that work. We'll start stitching around and see what happens. The true test, uh, <clears throat> I just took scotch tape and sort of taped this all into place. Because uh, when I start sewing, you know, you don't really uh, have the ability to, you know, move things around and stuff. So I figured I'd sort of lock it into place and then start my stitching. I'm just going to use two needles and start at the end point. So I'll have one run of thread that goes like that. I'll have another one that goes like that. Next one like that. Last one like that. So four uh, spots. I'll probably do this one and that one first because that'll lock these into place and then we'll just sort of fill in the blanks. I've got my wheel I've got a bolt going through it and then uh, into this angle iron just kind of clamped to my bench so that I can turn the wheel and work on it as I need to. I've got my uh, nice carbon fiber, faux carbon fiber shop light on so I can see uh, these holes are particularly <laughs> difficult. And I think uh, what I figured out is I need to sort of change directions uh, where white meets black so that uh, I'm kind of tacking this in place here that I'm going to do this. It seems like it's going to work better to work from inside out on these pieces. Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to change directions at each of the deals here, at each of the color changes. And uh, hopefully <laughs> I can get this going. It's kind of hard to find a starting point. It's actually really difficult. My first little run right there, we're tied up and, and done. And then like I say, that's sort of the end of the line right there. So we'll cut this all off and then hopefully glue it in. I should bring the light around here so we can see. There we go. So there we have it. So that'll glue in and cut off and trim up hopefully. Yeah, it doesn't look too terribly bad. I've gotten far enough along now that I realize that um, I don't like the spacing on the stitching, so uh, it's just too close together. So last night, late last night, I, uh, I made new white pieces here with the stitching twice as far apart. I really want them to sort of look directional. Uh, and here they look directional for some reason. 
uh, on the black, but they don't on the white. So uh, I know for sure I'm, I've remade these, so I may just detach these from the black piece and re redo the blacks because uh, it actually looks pretty nice, sort of all the way around. Um, we'll see. But uh, regardless, I did these all in a single uh, thread. I did these down here in a double thread, and I like the double thread a lot better. Uh, but I think, you know, as I'm as I'm looking at it, it just it needed to be the stitches needed to be twice as far apart. So I'm going to cut this off. And we're going to start over. Don't let your meat loaf.